Hey friends, Tony here with Synergy Firearms. Today we're going to talk about the SIG MPX. The, uh, the SIG has made a, a new set of, uh, of rifles and pistols, uh, the MPX and the MCX. The MPX is the one with the pistol calibers. The MCX is the carbine calibers. Yes, the MPX comes in rifle and pistol. This is a pistol. It comes in an 8 inch or a 4 inch barrel. Um, there's going to be a 5.3 inch barrel and a uh, 3 inch barrel for uh, uh, LEO only. But um, the MCX we'll do in another review. That's the uh, carbine caliber. It comes in 556223 or 300 blackout. And what's really cool about that is it's about a minute and a half to barrel change. Even with the short stroke gas piston, it's that easy. Um, these only right now come in 9 mil, but they're going to come in 45 next, and then 40 and 357 SIG after that. Um, I talked to the engineers at the uh, NRA show in April, and they're working on the 45s right now. What they're going to do is make so that you can convert this 9 mil into the 45 and the 45s into the 9 mil. Um, they're just trying to get the feed ramps to line up perfectly, and you know what? I can kiss them for it because it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, what, one of the cool things that they did on these guys is they actually took the Picatinny rail and ran it down the back of the gun. Now, I'm not going to take this off because, uh, well, it pain in the butt not to bring the screw. But, uh, unscrew that, take this off. Right now, this is my pistol uh, wrist brace. Okay? It's a. Um, it's an ATF walk around, work around, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is meant for you to unstrap it, put it on your arm. It's originally designed for handicapped folks, uh, folks with one arm or folks without the arm strength to hold up. Um, the ATF has gone back and forth on these. As of May this year, you are allowed to put it against your shoulder as long as it still acts as a wrist brace. That's We're going to do another review of just the wrist braces, go over a couple different kinds. Um, but just because it's on the gun, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, but they do make them, uh, make a whole bunch of different stocks. I'm going to show you those on the MCX, a couple different versions of that. When we do that review, uh, look for that. But lots of fun. This is a knockoff of the, uh, the MP5 that everybody's familiar with. But I don't care because it works so beautifully. It's so much fun. Um, you got your safety switch, obviously. Your uh, ambi charging. The magazine is proprietary. It's not cheap. Um, now, something that a lot of people don't realize, there was a Gen 1 and a Gen 2. Gen 2 has the uh, key mod grips, Gen 1 is a quad rail. Especially how you know when you look at the gun. When you look at the mags, you'll see a difference in the, uh, in the cutout. The Gen 1 mags work in the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 gun. The Gen 2 mags do not work in the Gen 1 gun. But, everybody's got the Gen 1 mags on sale. If you already own one of these in the Gen 2, get them because they're dirt cheap uh, I don't know why because honestly you should be selling full price um, of course we had to put ours on sale too so let me know but <clears throat> fits in there nice uh, ambidextrous uh, controls for uh, for all you lefties and wrong handers right hand and wrong hand and guns uh, but we're gonna do another review later with the MCX we're gonna do one we're gonna come back and do the MPX again with the Romeo sights on, we're going to look at a couple different versions today. But stay tuned, check out our other stuff, call us, say hi, tell us what you need.